All right, I'm sure by now anybody in Raider Nation that's listening to this has witnessed Nate Hobbs picking off the Rams quarterback, Bryce Parker, in the Week 2 preseason game. Now, I wanted to take a look at this play because I've seen a few people sort of diminish the interception simply because there was, as they said, three people around the ball. So let's jump over to the All-22 and take a look at what made this play happen. So starting with the offense, they're going to run a mirrored slot fade from a 2 by 2 formation. And Sean McVay is calling this play to attack Raiders defensive coordinator Gus Bradley's bread and butter coverage, the cover three. As anybody that's even played a game of Madden can tell you, the weakness of cover three is getting vertical routes in the seams between the three deep shells. Gus Bradley's defense is especially susceptible to this because of that press bail technique as cornerbacks play, which keeps them around the line of scrimmage at the snap. If those vertical routes can get downfield fast enough, they can put the middle of the field safety in an unwinnable two-on-one position where the quarterback's simply going to throw to the receiver that he isn't covering. Now there are a few cover three variations that Gus Bradley can utilize to combat vertical routes from slot receivers and tight ends. On this particular play, he went with soft sky. Sky simply means that the strong safety is going to insert as one of the underneath zone defenders, and the cornerbacks and middle field safety are going to handle the three deep zones. Where soft sky differs from that traditional three deep sky coverage, is instead of simply redirecting a vertical route from the number two receiver and then dropping off into the flat, the strong safety is actually gonna carry any vertical route from the number two receiver. This helps mitigate any conflict that they could put on the middle of the field safety. Now every coverage has strengths and weaknesses, and in this case, Bradley's gaining protecting his middle of the field safety by giving up covering the flat but he's anticipating his defense to be able to come up and get the ball on the ground if the quarterback does throw it out to the open receiver here. Now that we know what the offense and defense were doing, let's take a look at Nate Hobbs on this play, because for a guy that says that this was just his third rep as outside corner for the Raiders, he shows some pretty remarkable awareness. Right off the bat, he does a great job of not getting sucked up by number one's hitch route and following his smash rolls. Smash rolls are just if the number one receiver hitches, Defensive coordinators like to teach their outside corners to drop back because typically number two is going to run a corner for that smash concept we see all the time. After that, it's just Hobbs showing off his instincts. He trusts his eyes, sees the ball come out of the quarterback's hands, flashes his 4-3 speed to close on the wide receiver and make a play on the ball. I just, I just shuffled. I saw one sit down and two kept going up the scene, so I just climbed. Um, I, I think it was the type of defense we play. I don't really think it was my play, but I just was trying to be a football player. And I saw the ball come at the quarterback hands and ran to the receiver and I looked up. The ball was there, so I just grabbed it. So, whether it was a design play call or simply a seam alert because of the two by two formation, Bradley's system put a good player in position to make a play and Hobbs rewarded him. Raider Nation is going to get a lot of plays like this out of Nate Hobbs this season.